Okay, so I'm with Ken. Uh, we're wrapping up uh, day two at CMA. It's been a lot of fun from my Absolutely. perspective. Uh, so Ken, I, I'd love your perspective. I mean, one thing you know way more about than I certainly do is blogs and blogging. Sure. Um, and, and sort of the uh, role they play. I'm interested in kind of your perspective, the role they play just socially, and then the role they can play from a commercial standpoint, from a marketing standpoint. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, the one thing that we are constantly talking to clients about is that uh, if you want to uh, create awareness of your product by advertising, advertising is a great way to create awareness about your product. Um, if you want to create desire uh, for your products, create content uh, because content is what gets people engaged and interested and involved in the ideas uh, that you're talking about. Now, with some of the blogs that we do, Toronto is a blog, um, we're getting people involved in Toronto. Toronto is essentially our product. Uh, we create a desire for the city and uh, the arts and culture that are within it, uh, and uh, that's kind of our mission. But uh, we can do the same thing for brands as well. And so I think it's important uh, when you're talking about uh, whether it's social media or blogging or any of that content generation to think about uh, what your product is, what the ultimate uh, goal is that you're trying to create with your uh, communication, and how that leads to uh, desire and how to drive desire. Uh, through platforms like blogging. Okay, great. Um, let's talk about uh, the importance, if it is important, of authenticity when we're talking about blogging. Yeah, authenticity is the most important thing. Once you can fake that, you've got it made. <laughs> See how I set them up for that, folks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I mean, uh, uh, obviously, uh, uh, authenticity, when we're really talking about, when we're talking about authenticity, is we're talking about passion. And uh, Communication always works uh, when you're passionate about the thing that you are talking about. And if you can find the passion in your topic, then you'll come across as authentic. Uh, if you have to fake the passion, then you won't come across as authentic. Okay. Sort of like uh, with sex, probably the same That's thing. That's right. Fake that. So uh, one of the other things I want to talk about, I've heard you say to customers that we, or our company, wants to help you become publishers. Sure. Um, and at first... You know, the first time I heard it, I kind of thought, whoa, wait a minute, aren't you putting us out of business? But I think you're talking about two different things. Uh, I, I guess there's a, a level of a, a customer being their own publisher and then also requiring the professional services of, of publishing and content creation. Is sort of a mix of two, is it? No, absolutely. I mean, I think that uh, uh, the great uh, story of the Internet is the incredible democratization of publishing tools. It allows everyone to be a publisher. Uh, there's a big difference between becoming a publisher, though, uh, and producing content on a regular basis. Um, you know, advertising campaigns or marketing campaigns are often uh, envisioned, uh, put together and die in the course of a year. Um, and our titles uh, at St. Joseph Media have been around for 30 years, 20 years, over 100 years in the case of uh, Quill Inquirer magazine. And being able to generate ongoing content and ongoing relationship uh, with readers over a long period of time is what we want to help brands do. So excellent. Um, one, I guess, last question, uh, and obviously uh, one of our properties is Fashion Magazine. Notice yesterday you had the square fold in the pocket square. Today you've gone with a sort of more traditional triangle. I wonder, if, is that an influence from your wife? Uh, actually, uh, someone asked me when I uh, went shopping uh, most recently if I uh, took my wife with me. And I said, no, no, I took uh, smart people from Fashion Magazine or Toronto Life Magazine with me when I, when I went shopping. So, no, my wife and I both have no taste in clothes, uh, home furnishings, uh, uh, any of those sorts of things. Uh, so we, we need all the help that we can get from uh, the people that we work with. Well, it, it certainly shows a lovely navy uh, Brooks brother. I love the shoes. If we, if we can have a little look on them. Um, and I think it, it, it came together really, really nice. So thanks for dropping by and talking to us. Thanks a lot. Okay.